Varen Chopra, Essex, top all the batsmen, right hander. I think this is where it all began for me. Um, first memories of coming to Joe's um, or Ilford Cricket School, as it's known, um, was when I was about six years old. I think my dad brought me down to the nets, uh, introduced me to Joe Hussain, which was uh, NASA's father. Um, and from age of six, I guess he was like a bit of a third grandfather to me in some ways. Um, he used to spend a lot of time here. You know, mum used to drop me off after school and then pick me up just before dinner, um, Saturdays and Sundays. Same thing, used to come at nine o'clock in the morning, play the um, indoor cricket matches here for the under, under nines, then the under tens would be short, so he used to play for them at 11, then the under 13s would be short, so he used to play for them at you know, two o'clock, and then next thing you know, you know, it's four or five o'clock, and I've been here for most of the day, basically, just uh, loving cricket, watching cricket, and, and playing as much as I could, really. Guildford's been steeped in history, I guess, I think, um, you can look at the names on this wall, obviously, Graham Gooch and Nasser Hussain, two uh, former England captains. Obviously, Rav's played for England, Frank Griffiths, David East, then you've got your know, likes of myself, Jamie Porter, Wheats, Fozzie. Um, so many players would, I, I reckon, would have grown up learning their trade um, inside this, you know, sort of old shed, old building. Um, so it has always been a real hub, you know, I guess for the East End, East End of London or London side of Essex community. This is it. You've got your dressing rooms here, obviously your toilets. It used to be a shower area, which has obviously uh, been changed now. But as I said, you know, it's a fairly basic area, but it did what we needed growing up as kids. This is the Upper Cricket School. As you can see, there's four lanes. Um, just been renovated for the first time that I can remember. So it's got a new floor in and uh, new nets up. I remember as kids, there's always used to be holes in the nets and when it rained, you used to get a leak coming through. So it was a you know, proper old school kind of cricket facility, but you know, we loved it and it didn't stop us from you know, developing our careers and, and improving as, uh, as young cricketers. So you know, we used to all love coming here and as I said, we still do. Right now, I'm gonna take you over to the Valentine's Park, which is where Ilford play their home games. Um, so follow me. Essex has always been very supportive of, of cricket in this sort of part of Essex and East London. Um, I know, you know, the club now has a big sort of development programme, East London Community Programme as well. Um, just trying to tap into all the talent that is around this area. Um, I remember even when I was in the academy, um, obviously because I used to go to school at Ilford as well, which is just around the corner. So for me to get to Chelmsford Sessions was was a bit of an effort and um, just time-wise it wasn't possible with school commitments and to try and get to the academy so you know even things like the coaches used to come down and and we used to do our one-to-ones at the Ilford Cricket School um, a couple of days a week which was always um, you know really helpful and um, you know just shows the commitment that Essex I guess put into us as young players from a very early age and, and tries to give us every opportunity to, to, um, to make it far in the game. Here we are, this is Valentine's Park. So obviously we've got our pavilion here, the clubhouse. Um, used to be a, a lawn bowls um, area here, which we used to try and hit our sixes over into. Um, and as I said, this is a, it's a really large park, it goes on for miles and miles inside and it's a really big park. But yeah, this is where um, I used to spend most of my weekends and my Saturdays and Sundays in the summer playing cricket out here. This is the new uh, Eagles T20 kit. Um, as you can see, it's based on um, the Eagles kit, which started 20 years ago. Uh, also, I remember the likes of Ronnie and Nasser um, looking like mascots trying to play cricket in this kit. Um, as you can see, it's a lot, lot more professional now. Uh, it's a lot lighter material, a lot more breathable, uh, a lot more comfortable, but a better fit than, than these uh, sort of duvet type kit that was there 20 years ago.
Very much looking forward to the season. I think last year was a little bit disappointing in terms of our T20 campaign, but obviously we always really well supported at Chelmsford. We love playing our Friday nights and you know, our Sunday afternoons there at Chelmsford, so um, it's going to be a big tournament this year and we're looking to go as far as we can.